Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. So a while back I did a piece, a rainbow piece, a rainbow swipe on a white base. And this is the design that I created. Now this time I want to try and do the same kind of rainbow swipe, but on a black base, just to see what look it has, what kind of different feel it has, using the same colour palette, using the same technique, but just changing one thing, and that's the base colour. So that's what I'm going to do today. So let's see what we can create. Okay, so I have my 12 by 12 inch canvas and I'm just layering the, the black base now and this is Mars black. Okay, so just put it in the middle, just going to stretch it out enough on the uh, on the base so I can layer my colours on top and then the magic swipe will happen. So I'm just going to torch the air bubbles. The torch is used to get rid of the bubbles and to also help with any cell activation within the colours. But with this I used it for the for the air bubbles. Okay so colours of the rainbow I'm just going to layer these on the black paint and then I'm going to swipe over the top with white titanium and within that white titanium is that magic mixture of Australian Floetrol. Okay so just doing this all the way along. I tend to lose the yellow and I hope that I can maintain that colour. So it's green. some blue some purple there's something really satisfying with the uh, with the swipes when I'm kind of swiping over with the with the white flow troll and then you see all those cells being created it's just you know that's that's the magic mixture isn't it so I'm just going to put some more black base so when I'm stretching it out it can flow okay just checking that it's a consistent layer here we go so white titanium paint mixed with flow troll I'm going to get my spatula I'm going to coat my spatula with the white paint and then I'm literally going to swipe across the top and then wait for that magic to happen and fingers crossed those cells appear. Okay, ready? You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> okay, so you'll see it's all on my spatula and I'm literally just going to go all the way across very lightly don't want to drag the paint too much off the canvas what I'm trying to do is just help it mix together and I can see the cells not too worried about that end bit because that's going to go off off the canvas there we go so I just wait wait a couple of minutes just to see that reaction I'm going to use my torch to gently help those cells react and come through onto the top of the canvas. I think I've managed to maintain those colours as well. So that's, you know, that's a positive. That's really good. Okay, let me show you what I can see. So, there we go. So you can see all those cells forming. And then the idea will be to stretch that design out across the canvas. I think I'd like some negative space because I, I do like to see the black background. So let's stretch. I think I'm going to take that corner off first. Okay. As I said, I, I want to make sure that I keep my colours, all my colours of the rainbow. Um, I'm just kind of getting used to where the the heaviness and the, the puddles of the paint are so when I'm stretching it out I know 
what I need to get rid of and, and what I can keep. So I'm going to just take that side off first. And then I'm going to bring it back into the middle. Just stretch it over a little bit more. I'm not going to rush. What I've learned with doing these swipes and what I've learned when I'm kind of kind of stepping back and looking at the composition is I don't need to rush this process. I can just take some time to stretch and tilt and keep having a look at what it's looking like. You know, I don't want to rush to do it and then I lose some of the cell formation or or lose the design. I'm just going to stretch back over this way and then all the way off. I love that red, that deep red is absolutely gorgeous. Okay. I'm really liking this design, but as I said, I think I definitely want to keep some of the black base so I might do a little bit of scraping in a minute I think I'm going to scrape some of the the edge off and add some black base look at that red and orange I'll take you in obviously for a closer look shortly but that red is just so vibrant okay so I'm just going to fill this in here with the black and then I think what I want to do to get that good composition, I'm just going to scrape, I'm scraping, going to scrape that edge off and put some black. So here we go, get rid. There we go. So here's the proof. If you're not happy with something, just scrape it off, change it up. I'm all, I'm all for that. I think having black then in this corner will match the black in the other corner and that will almost kind of help kind of train the eye to just look in the middle of that piece and see all those vibrant colours and they, those colours will be even more vibrant because because of the two black corners. So yeah, I think that's a, that's a good decision and I'm happy with that. That really does help with the perspective and the composition of the design itself. Okay, so here's the wet version. Do you see what I mean? With the having those two black corners really helps the colours here kind of stand out. I love that red and that orange together. I've lost some of the yellow. There are there are tints of the yellow in there. There's still a little bit of yellow in there, but not a huge amount, so Next time I'll work on that and maybe add a bit more yellow than all the other colours. Those blues, greens and purples just at that edge were gorgeous. And I love how the, you know, when I've when I've put the white paint with the flow troll over, how it's created that lacing in those cells. I wonder what it would look if I kept it all black. So a black base and swiping with black. Maybe I need to try that. I'll show you the dried version and I'd love to know what you think. Have I done the right thing with the two black corners? The vibrancy of these colours are gorgeous. I wonder what other colours I should try. Let me know guys, what would you like to see? I'd love to hear, you, hear from you, I'd love your feedback on this piece. Here is the dried version. It's dried really, really well. The colours aren't as vibrant, but what I do with all my pieces afterwards is I do apply some gloss varnish. I use a spray gloss varnish over the top and that will help those colours shine and be vibrant again. And I know people have said to me before also about um, resin. I don't work with resin but I do work with the gloss varnish. Um, I'm so happy with this. What I'll do is I will show you some close-ups of this piece. Um, I'd love to hear what you think. I don't know what my favourite one is, whether the black base or the white base. Um, maybe I'll go for a completely different coloured base and try the rainbow swipe again. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Thank you so much for all of your support. And I hope to see you again in the next video. Have a great week, everyone. Take care. Bye.